Basics! Hey Baxter here with the second of the Baxter Basics and I think we're going to start by going under the help menu in Max which you can hardly see me over here it's Maximus P is open and the help menu is to the very far right and I'm going to go to the MSP tutorials and I'm going to open up the tutorial that says Adjustable Oscillator. Uh, tutorial number two, Adjustable Oscillator. And I want to open the tutorial. Okay, what you have here is a nice, uh, hmm, what? You press the space bar and it turns on an oscillator that's going at a thousand hertz. Or maybe you need to give it some, ampl oh, yeah, some amplitude over here. It might help a little. Alright, so what I'm going to get you to do for me is I guess you can unlock the patcher and double click in the blank space to bring up the palette and I want you to make a K slider. This is a keyboard slider. A slider that acts like a keyboard or a keyboard that acts like a slider depending on which way you look at it. Alright, these are going to put out uh, what might be called um, you know, like MIDI note numbers over here um, which key value, sure. And over on the other side, I'm not sure if we can be able to see that, um, on the other side of the K slider is the velocity. Alright, both the MIDI note numbers and the velocity coming out of this thing, note number, velocity, both come out in the range 0 to 127. Okay, what I want you to do is figure out a way of scaling this value or changing this value so that 0 to 127 is going to relate to 0 to 1 here because uh, anything greater than 1 is going to be pretty loud. Um, and also uh, to change this value here, which is a MIDI note number, into a frequency. Okay, let's just quickly make a couple of inches with the key, with, uh, well, with the patcher unlocked. We can see that if we um, create an integer by clicking I on the keyboard, the computer keyboard that is, and we can just look at that value. I on the computer keyboard, we can look at that value over here. We can lock it and play these. And you can see there's my note numbers. Uh, 60 is always middle C in MIDI land. And 43 is kind of quiet. And the higher you play up here on the keyboard, the louder it is. Here's my, um, twink, Twinkle Little Star. Twinkle, Twinkle Little Star. Ooh, star. Yeah, all right. So now we want to, uh, yeah, your mission turn this into a frequency, this MIDI note number uh, that's in tutorial 2 of the Baz tutorials and the other one is to turn this into an amplitude so to scale uh, this number between 0 and 127 I'll give you approximately um, some amount of time to, and actually the other thing is my, my Jeopardy music isn't so loud this time so it won't kill you All right, uh, here's some thinking time, you might want to stop the tutorial to, 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 to perform these tasks Awesomeness. All right, uh, the first thing here um, from Baz Tutorial 2 is simply an object, new object called M2F. Uh, in the Baz Tutorials, the first one we use is the one without the signal, which is right in this case because we have a control value here going into M2F and that going into the frequency value for our oscillator. Okay. We could do something really simplistic over here and simply um, do some uh, like elementary school math and say this divided by 127, so 127 will be 1 and 0 will be 0 and 63 will be about 0.5. All right, turn this thing on. Oh, it's not working. Okay, now your next question is why, when I've made my um, made this division over here, divide by 127, looks like all of these values, no matter what they are, coming out here, are giving me zero amplitude. Why? Thinking music.
All right, the answer lies in the fact that this divisor, um, this division is done with, a, uh, with an integer. So 127, the first value that will give us a non-zero amplitude is actually 127, because 127 is divided by 127 is 1, otherwise um, anything less than that is going to give us a zero. So the answer is really simple. Just unlock the patcher and put a point for a floating point number in this 127, and we should have it, let's see, uh, I can use the space bar to articulate these notes and play. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, the other things you might have done over here, which, you know, you might have made, uh, you might have been trying to be really clever and done multiply by something that's like the reciprocal of 127, which is what, mm, oh, mm, uh, no, I don't know, <laughs> eight. <laughs> I don't know what the reciprocal of 127 is. All right, and the other thing I suppose you could have done is uh, you might have used the object that we tend to use in the spaz tutorials a lot, or actually we tend to use them in the in the world a lot, which is a scale object where you put in, well, four numbers would be good to get it to work exactly like this, where you have your input range of 0 to 127 and your output range of 0 to 1. And the other thing you could put in here is a s exponential scaling value of something which would make this amplitude non-linear but more linear according to loudness in uh, the way we hear. Alright, that there is the Baxter Basics number two.